We have an update for you tonight on the computer attack on CARE New England as Rhode Island's second largest hospital group tries to get to the bottom of it. Iowa News reporter Logan Wilbur talked to a computer expert about what it could mean and why other hospitals should keep an eye out. CARE New England says as of right now, it doesn't appear any patient information has been compromised. An information security expert I spoke with says what appears to have happened is actually worse. CARE New England says it's working with IT forensic experts to resolve a recent incident and restore affected systems. Nicholas Tella, the director of information at Johnson & Wales, can't speak specifically about what happened at CARE New England, but says cyber criminals are taking advantage of a perfect storm at hospitals. Hospitals have been targeted, especially during the COVID crisis, because there's so much going on, there's so much information that's being passed and forth. Uh, you know, chaotic times are... Uh, you know, taken advantage of by cyber criminals. Care New England, with facilities like Kent Hospital and Women and Infants, says they are not facing issues with security breach of patient information. Tella says while personal information is worth big money to cyber criminals, it isn't nearly as bad as what likely did take place. If it's a data security incident where operations at the hospital have been disrupted through ransomware, uh, that's even more devastating. Um, because that could affect patients, you know, and uh, their care. And care is being affected, though Care New England officials say it is limited. New tonight, Care New England says radiology and chemotherapy treatments cannot be performed right now. Tella says the cyber criminals likely responsible for this incident at Care New England could already be moving on to the next target. This means workers should be on high alert. It's not, um, you know, this sophisticated technical way that they hack you. They always focus on us, the end user, who's always the weakest link. And Nicholas Tella tells me that cyber criminals will likely attack people through phishing scams such as emails containing links or downloads. He says just one person in a workplace clicking that link can take down the entire network. He says that is likely what happened at Care New England. In East Providence, Logan Wilbur, Eyewitness News.